Final runner moves in, ready for a start. And they're off. The Wild Ride comes out running on the outside. Even quicker, though, is Canadian Ballet, who takes early command. Tembeza is up close early, as is Red Hot Jazz, moving up to challenge for the front. Five Beta Mom is fourth between horses. Toward the inside, racing in sixth is Cosmos Buddy Knockin' Elder between horses. Seventh, dropping back just a bit is Big Easy. And now trailing the field is the Wild Ride as they head on to the turn. And it's Canadian Ballet through an opening quarter in 21 and four. Red Hot Jazz is two lengths from her, giving chase in second. Powder Donut on the far outside trying to advance. Tembeza is running in third. Cosmos Buddy finds racing room from between horses as the field comes to the top of the stretch and it's Canadian Ballet is pouring it on. Canadian Ballet is kicked clear now to a six-length lead. Up on the outside looking to rally is Cosmos Buddy. Big Easy is in the mix as well. Canadian Ballet in front as they head down to the finish and it is Canadian Ballet in the first division of the P.G. Johnson. Up for second was Cosmos Buddy Big Easy was third. L.A. is kicked clear now to a six-length lead. Up on the outside, looking to rally is Cosmos Buddy. Big Easy is in the mix as well. Canadian Ballet in front as they head down to the finish, and it is Canadian Ballet in the first division of the P.G. Johnson. Up for second was Cosmos Buddy. Big Easy was third. Three-year-old chestnut filly by City Zip out of Canadian flagship by Northern flagship. Owned by the obviously New York stable, Linda Rice, the trainer, Cornelio Velasquez, the winning jockey. Canadian Ballet, bred in New York by Gus Schaumborn, Jr., running time on the turf for the five furlongs, 55 and four-fifths seconds. and joins us this evening along with Don Brockway presenting to the winning connections trainer Linda Rice winning jockey Cornelio Velasquez as Canadian Ballet takes the first of two divisions P.G. Johnson one of the all-time greats in Meadowlands history and in thoroughbred racing history as well the late P.G. Johnson of course training Valponi to that